in talking to Shannon Tonkins, who is a guy with a tremendous network background and now a curator engineer, we were talking about how to make a video that explains the value that the different type of flows bring to curator. So the network flows, the queue flows, and when we send traffic into Q&I, the flows it produces. So to show all those in context, we took 100 packets that we capture uh, using Wireshark in, uh, in pickup format and send it through a simulated router. And we use a software to simulate what the router actually produces. And the output of that is uh, sent as NetFlows into Curator. We are going to be analyzing what is it that Curator extracts from those files, from those flows, by looking at the Network Activity tab in it. We also are going to take the very same 100 packets and send those to Curator as queue flows, and we will show the definitions that we did in, in the configurations in Curator in the Admin tab, also everything, the, the, the PCAP and the commands that we use in here are going to be provided in a box link whose uh, URL is actually in the video description. But we also took the other, the, the same uh, 100 packets and sent those to the Q&I component of QReader, which actually sends IP flows into it. And to understand the value of all those, we're going to see what value we see when we send the net flows, the Q flows, and the IPv flows. And in our analysis, the very same packets, we're going to be looking at the source IP that sends uh, this traffic, which is this one over here. So pay attention to that uh, source IP because we're going to use a filter to only see the traffic coming from that IP. And to simulate a router, we are using a software called nProp. And here's the command in which we tell it we're going to be sending those to port 2055, which is the NetFlow uh, port into Curator's IP address. The pickups that we capture, those 100 packets are in this file. And we're going to send them via uh, on, in the format of uh, NetFlow's version 5. So we issue the command and we see all the verbosity, all those uh, packets actually being uh, sent. And we see them coming in here in the Network Activity tab in Curator where we have a filter to only see what comes from that IP only. What value can Curator get from these flows? Well, for once Curator infers or deduct by the type of port being used what type of traffic it is. So this is 53, that's DNS. 80 is, you know, uh, web traffic, HTTP traffic. 443, same thing, but uh, encrypted. And this is only for 100, the 100 packets that we have here. So the type of application is actually interesting. But also, how much traffic is actually being sent? This is a small thing, is a big chunk of uh, traffic going in or out. And we also get that from, from uh, NetFlows. What type of application? Again, it's TCP, UDP, and, and, and by the port, we know whether it's FTP traffic, it's DNS traffic, of uh, what type of uh, traffic uh, that is. Also, Curator can determine if it's uh, one IP polling over different ports. Uh, uh, well, that might be a type of scanner. Let's take a see. Let's take a look at the rules that Curator has by default that fire on some of these, and there are way too many. So I'm going to show you a few of them. So, for example, if we click in here and look for scan and see what type of rule those Curator has out of the box for detecting a scanning. We see that, boy, there, there are quite a few of those, right? So, 
all this type of detection of scanning of FTP because again of the type of traffic uh, and other sources and some of these are also logs as well but uh, flows uh, derives a, a lot of uh, of this uh, of this detection also for uh, chat traffic you know by the type of uh, port being used the type of application so Curera again out of the out of the box can use those flows to determine very many things uh, happening in it but if we go to any one of those let me actually pause this and go into any one of those uh, particular fields we'll see that there's not much data available okay there's nothing on the payload for sure but again a lot of good things can can be done by just uh, net flows but we cannot inspect any further let's move on and see what we can do with uh, queue flows but before showing the flows and before I forget actually let me show you in the administration tab the very simple steps I need to do to make all this work so I went here on the admin tab on their flow sources and this is the default uh, net flow that I have didn't have to do anything with it I, I just took the default but you can see the port and 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 those good things and for Q flows which I'm going to show in a minute this is the definition that I did and I have been, have them enabled on the what used to be called ET0 on uh, on the first uh, network adapter for my curator box so I'm back on the network activity tab with the filter to show only the traffic coming from that IP that we saw before on their network flows and to replay the the the, the, uh, the same pickup getting into Qflow I use TCP replay and here's the command that I uh, use to do that so here the packets are being replayed and we see them come in here and the first things that is different here notice that C here between parentheses that's the nodes that curator skew flows have detected some content into those packets let's see you know before we click in any one of these and we couldn't see anything really what happened let me pause this and go into any one of these to really see the difference so there's not much in this field here we're gonna see those later in Q&I providing the information aha but here there's something interesting as you know Qflow inspect the first 64 bytes of the payload and we can see that these guys actually going to Facebook we could not determine that from the net flows but with Qflows we can so going back to our whiteboard we could see that you know for net flows we see overall these type of things in here but now that with 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 Q flows we can s inspect the content of the payload and for example the team determined that this is a uh, something that has to do with uh, Facebook for sure we can click into any one of these for example on this uh, the one that ends with dot six and you know uh, we actually see content but notice that it has been truncated the first 64 bytes of the payload only came so I don't get to see exactly where this is actually going on this so on this uh, we could not determine where this is actually going because again it wasn't shown at the beginning of it of the first 64 byte capture but there's another thing that we can do here is that we can perform interesting searches so if I pivot here on advanced searches and I'm gonna paste a search in here for you to see I'm searching on the destination payload as raw payload I want to see the results from the flows with the raw payload is something like Facebook interested in seeing who is going to Facebook and this is just an example of uh, things that we can actually search for so if we click here on search and I go back five minutes ago oh. 
notice that my search actually yields the results. So I can actually inspect the content of the payload and look for social security, you know, particular things that if they come in the first 64 bytes, I'm going to be able to grab them and see them using Qflows. And, and I can do all the type of searches that are regex based and, and I can put this in rules so I, I can actually derive even some interesting value from Qflows. So let's actually send that same 100 packets into QNI's component of Curator and see what else can we determine out of this. So we are back with our filter to see only that result and to send those uh, that TCP packet into QNI, I'm actually going to be sending sending those to the Curator box. So they can be replayed from there and we will soon see them come in here. Uh, so remember that dot six address that we did not see, you know, where it was actually going. Let's take a look at it from QNI's perspective. Well, a couple of fields have been populated we know that this person actually went to Twitter and we actually know that that person messed around with a file and he was the hash of the file so we can actually see whether that is a malicious artifact or not and notice all these other fields that got actually populated HTTP hof, web category, user agent, you know that is actually very nice and there are more fields that because these 100 packets did not have that content, we could have seen here being populated. Uh, these are fields that you get when you install QNI. And remember that 49 that we discovered with Qflow that it was going into Facebook? Let's see what we can see about it in here. Well, we even have a hash, a file hash, that is actually being we can inspect what what whether this uh, artifact again is malicious of, of, of get information about that specific file. And if I do a search on these fields for those that contain file hash, that's that filter. That is, uh, we got that all this communication actually had files hashes being computed real time. That's big. And if we go into any one of these, uh, any one of these properties. We can have rules and discover things that fire upon that we did not have the visibility before. So I hope that by now you get a perspective of the value that every one of the components, they all, they all add value to it. I believe that Q&I is the one that really exceeds the, 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 the things that I can do with those 40 plus fields that get automatically extracted and sent to Curator so I can have rules and content that actually fires on, on what those specific values are, like web category, like uh, a particular URL, uh, a particular host. Uh, all those are things that without having to do full packet capture, which Curator has a module for, uh, I, I don't have to go into that uh, expense of storing and indexing all that data, I can just extract the value dynamically, compute the, the file hashes, boom, send them to Curator and start to detect uh, things happening on your network.